Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have something really epic to talk about. First of all though, you may have noticed that yeah, we are running a new format here on my channel. I'm going to talk about that toward the end of the video though, so if you're interested, stay tuned. If you're not, let's talk about the awesome news. So I haven't discussed this really on the channel yet, but guess what? Apple left the kernel inside of iOS 10 for 64-bit devices unencrypted. Now that's absolutely epic and there's been so much controversy on the web as of late as to whether Apple did this move intentionally or whether it was just an accident and people are going to get fired over it and it's something that's pretty massive because let me tell you it's going to make finding new exploits for jailbreak utilities specifically of course kernel exploits that much easier. Of course it's also going to mean that Apple's going to tighten down on security and patch things much more quickly but as with any double-edged sword this is still going to be great it means we could get more jailbreak utilities provided the interest from jailbreak developers doesn't wane so this is absolutely epic and the reason I'm talking about it today is that Apple actually gave guidance as to what this means. So here on DaringFireball.net, run by John Grubber, they received word from an Apple spokesperson that says, quote, the kernel cache doesn't contain any user info, and by unencrypting it, we're able to optimize the operating system's performance without compromising security. So what does this mean? Well, let's actually go ahead and switch on over here and talk about the kernel of any given operating system. So here on Wikipedia, an operating system kernel is defined as a computer program that constitutes the central core of a computer's operating system. It has complete control over everything that occurs in the system. As such, it is the first program loaded on startup and then manages the remainder of the startup as well as input output requests from software, translating into data processing instructions for the central processing unit or CPU. And the kernel for iOS isn't any different. So that means your information is still secure and other things such as personal data and iMessages including of course backups created inside of iTunes with the option selected remain encrypted which is a really great thing. So this image is actually a really awesome representation of what the kernel does and how it plays a role in the operating system. So as you can see here it kind of acts as the intermediary between a device as well as its components and applications. So it's definitely low level in the boot up and control process definitely not as low as something like the boot ROM or even iBoot. However, kernel exploits are incredibly valuable. They're the cornerstone to creating jailbreak utilities. And as I mentioned, since this is now unencrypted for 64-bit devices, for whatever reason, Apple has left the 32-bit kernel encrypted on iOS 10. It doesn't really matter though, since I Hate Snow is able to decrypt it. Of course, I talk about that in one of my recent videos. But this is the first time that developers as well as security researchers can poke around inside of iOS's kernel, find new exploits, exploits, either report them or do something else, something that we all would appreciate, create jailbreak utilities utilizing them. As I mentioned before though, this also means that iOS security updates will definitely be more plentiful. So what do you think about this change? Let me know down below in the comment section. Hopefully it breathes new life into the jailbreak community. Now what I want to talk about next of course just relates to my channel and kind of some changes I've been thinking about. So I'm going to level with you guys. Honestly, while I still love tech and I'm still really into Apple, of course being one of my favorite companies and iOS in general is absolutely amazing. I'm just starting to get burnt out on covering topics related to Apple iOS jailbreaking, what have you. It seems like it's all I really talk about on this channel. I want to bring new, fresh content to you guys while still reporting on things that I think you'll find interesting in the world of iOS and jailbreaking. Of course, just not solely focused on them. So I'm really excited to kind of take this channel in a new direction. We're going to start to cover other things beyond just tech and jailbreaking. If you have anything specific you want to see made, let me know down below in the comments section. I'm really open and excited to the future this channel could go and who who knows what's next? I mean, I might not always talk about jailbreaking and tech, but I still will talk about, of course, the most important things, specifically when new jailbreak utilities are released. And I kind of like this format better. It's a lot easier for me personally to actually record something like this, just some gameplay with a voiceover. It allows me to be more direct, formulate my thoughts, and be more real with you as opposed to just setting up with my iOS device, whether that's an iPhone or another iDevice, and talking about it. 
What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, if you want to be updated more often, just click the subscribe button below. You'll be notified anytime I release a new video. And if you've made it all the way to the end, congratulations. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to smack that like button because of course there are always haters and you'll help defend against them. Finally, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I actually discuss some of these changes on Twitter first. So just follow me at iCrackYourEyeDevice. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. See you guys next time. Join the iCrackYourEyeDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.